Today, I will talk about pressure drop calculation using compound manometer. Compound manometer is connected with two pipeline P and Q. Now here, water is flowing through that pipeline. Now we have to calculate what will be the pressure difference between P and Q. So now here at P pipeline, the pressure at the center of the P pipeline is PP. Now at point A, the pressure will be P plus H of water, rho of water into G because we are going downward direction. So pressure will increase. So here first the pressure at point P, so that is PP. Now pressure at point PA is nothing but PP plus H water plus rho water into G. Now here we are calculating pressure point A. So from in that point P, so we are going downward direction. So pressure will be added. So here that PP plus H water into rho water into G. So PP plus H water is 8 meter and rho water is 1000 and G is 9.81. So PP plus 78480. Now coming to the point V, now if I draw the horizontal line, so it the PA and PV will be the same horizontal line. So pressure at same horizontal line at the same fluid pressure will be equal. So PA is equal to PV. Now so PV is nothing but PP plus 78480. Now we have to come to the point C. So this point. So now we are going upward direction. So pressure will be pressure will decrease. Now pressure at point C will be that PP plus 7840 minus this height uh, that is H of HG so 5 meter then density of the H uh, HG sorry mercury and into G. So that will be 5 into 13600 into 9.81. So that will be PP minus 588600. So that PC, that pressure at C. Now, next we have to calculate the pressure here. So pressure at PD, so that will be PP minus 588600. So again, we are going upward direction. So pressure will decrease. So that H water at the CD distance plus rho H2 CD into G. So now here H uh, water that is 3.5. And rho water is 1000 and 9.81. If we do the calculation, so PP minus 622935. So our pressure D is PD is PP minus 622935. Now again, if I draw the horizontal line, so horizontal line will be in the same fluid. Okay, and same horizontal line, pressure will be same. So PD is equal to PE. So PE is nothing but PP minus 622938935. Now coming to the from here we know the pressure. Now coming from here to here, so now we are going to downward direction. So pressure will increase. So that will be PP minus 622935 plus height of the water, rho of water into G. So here height of the water is so same. So 4 meter, then 1000 is the density and 9.81. So PP minus, if we do the calculation, that will be PP minus 583695. So now again, if I draw the horizontal line, so that PF is equal to PG. Now here, so PG we already calculated because PF we know, so PG is same. So that is PP, PP minus 583695. Now if I go here, so what will again, we will go upward direction. So pressure will decrease. So we have to put negative sign. So what will be the pressure at PH? PH will be PP minus 583695 minus 8G GH distance into rho HG that is GH the density of HG into G. So PP minus 583695 minus 4 into 13600 into 9.81. So that is PP minus 1117359. Now we have to calculate uh, the pressure at here. So if we horizontal line so in the same horizontal line pressure will be here so we have to calculate the pressure at this point so that will be uh, that is nothing but pq because whatever pressure will be here so that will be same so that pq is nothing but whatever that 
pp minus 117359 so again we are going upward direction pressure will be negative so that will be h water hq into rho h2 into g so that h h2 is 2.5 because 6.5 is the total distance 4.5 is here so this distance is 2.5 2.5 into 1000 into 9.8 so pq is nothing but pp minus 1141884 so now that pq is nothing but pp minus 1141884 now pp minus pq is nothing but 1141884 pascal because all are unit in si so 1141884 pascal that's it thank you